Ever wanted to build something awesome but felt stuck at, I don't know how to code? Well, those days are over. Welcome to our first build session where we'll create a professional landing page using AI. No coding experience required. Imagine going from zero to working website in minutes, with AI doing all the heavy lifting for us. This is your first step into AI-assisted coding, and I'll guide you through every click. Ready to start building? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, Alex here with Grit AI Studio. Welcome to this first build session in our Vibe Coding with Cursor series, where we're building a basic landing page for whatever idea or product you're building. In our case, in this series, we'll be building an AI-powered running coach, but you can follow each step to build whatever idea you have. A landing page lets us share the concept, test the idea, and invite early interest before the full app exists. It's the simplest way to validate what we're building and start shaping how we talk about it. We'll start easy and we'll use basic HTML and CSS and Cursor will help us generate, edit and improve the code along the way. Even if you've never written a single line of code, this is a great way to see how you can use AI assisted coding to bring your ideas to life fast. So here's what we're building today. We will build a landing page to promote our app, solution, business, or whatever you're working on. The page will contain a centered hero section, a headline describing the product, a paragraph explaining the value of our product or our sales pitch, an email sign up for which we will add logic later on, and a basic responsive styling, meaning that it should look good on mobile devices as well. We'll build it directly in Cursor AI using prompts to help us write and edit the code. No coding skills required. Let's go. Create a simple landing page in HTML and CSS. It should include a hero section, a big catchy headline, a short paragraph with our value prop, and an email input form with a submit button for people to sign up. We can add the logic for that later. Now this gives us a complete starting point that we can immediately preview in our browser. And that's it, you have a fully working landing page. But so far we've just created a generic landing page. You can of course run this multiple times if you want multiple versions to compare before you decide on your favorite. You can of course tailor this to whatever product you're building, change the text, colors and everything. So this is actually a good starting point for any purpose really. But let's actually build a meaningful landing page for the project we'll be working on in this build series our very own AI-powered running coach. In future videos, we'll practice what we've already talked about, creating a proper plan, breaking it down into steps, and a PRD document to best guide Cursor through our development. But we're starting with the bare minimum approach here. I would, however, recommend starting with a simple brain dump for our application and give this as context to Cursor to best populate our landing page with a relevant starting point. So let's create a scoping document for our new development project. We'll be building an AI-powered running app. We will describe our ideas for each step here to best inform ChatGPT, which will help us with our scoping process. We'll use the O3 model, which is great at these planning steps. You can of course use any AI model and you can even do this inside cursor if you want to. We'll start with our landing page then we will make our process a bit more robust with source control and then we'll set up login and our database to store our data. In step four, we'll start building out the actual features, which will ask ChatGPT to help us flesh out. 
We have some ideas to get the ball rolling, like a workout planner, user profile, and we definitely have ambitions to add some AI features like an AI voice coach and maybe audio-based guides. We can use O3 to iterate on our ideas and even break it down into further steps. We can then use this to further expand our PRD document later on and create a complete development tasks list to use with Cursor. For now, let's just use this initial scoping to populate our landing page so that we can test interest with our audience. Based on everything we got so far, we can ask O3 to summarize and propose key messages to use on our landing page. Being specific is always better. So sharing our style preferences or our vision for what we're building will help us create even better results. You can sketch it out on a piece of paper or use tools like Figma or even simpler tools like Excalidraw or Napkin AI, if you already have an idea for your layout. You can of course also pick inspiration from solutions you already enjoy and share screenshots with the AI. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us provide some inspiration. The benefit of continuing in our conversation is that we have the full context of our application spec. We can also provide keywords to the style, the look and feel, colors, and so on. We can also ask for things like a mood board image or a mock-up or wireframes. I personally prefer providing some taste and design inspiration. If you want to, you can also use tools like Bolt, Lovable, DataButton, or even V0 to create a starting point for us. From these solutions, you can download the code and continue in Cursor. But for this first one, let's keep things simple and do everything inside Cursor. Before we leave ChatGPT, let us ask for a prompt based on our conversation. O3 is really excellent at this type of work. Help me create a detailed prompt that I can provide to my AI-assisted coding agent for creating the landing page that clearly showcases both the basic MVP features and our future roadmap. Okay, let's take our design inspiration and our prompt into Cursor and create our landing page. Look at that, that's a really cool starting point. At this point, we have a working landing page, clean, mobile friendly, and specific to our project. Now that we have our landing page, we can adjust it to our personal style, and of course also enhance it with some visual elements. Let's add some running focused images that we can of course generate with ChatGPT to make our page more engaging and on brand. Let's modify our page to add these images and adjust the styling to ensure good text contrast. We can use Cursor to help us position and style these elements perfectly.
One of the great things about Cursor is how easy it is to iterate on our content. Let's try different variations of our headline and copy to see what works best. We can generate alternative headlines, make adjustments to the tone and messaging, and we can test different call to action phrases. And there we have it. We've created a professional looking landing page for our AI running coach in just a few minutes using Cursor. In our upcoming videos, we'll take this project to the next level. We'll create a detailed project plan and a PRD document. We'll set up proper source control for our project and we'll convert our static page into a dynamic web application. We'll implement user authentication and login functionality, and we'll set up a database to store our data in. And then we'll start building out our core running coach features. Stay tuned as we transform this simple landing page into a fully functional AI running coach application. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow along with our building journey. I'll see you in the next video.